Hello and welcome to the TechLink and Plan Technical Series video on line item subsets. My name is Sahil Iyer and I will be showcasing the methodologies for utilizing line item subsets. A line item subset is a list of line items drawn from a single module or multiple modules. The function of a line item subset is to group line items from different modules into a single list. You can use a limited number of line items from a larger selection of line items. Typical uses for a line item subset are currency conversion, applying a percentage growth to last year's income statement, or converting invoiced amounts to cash for cash flow forecasting. The collect function, as you can see here at the bottom, is used to collect data from the line item subset's parent modules. This function can only be used in modules that have a line item subset as a dimension. Although line item subsets can contain a formula, the items in a line item subset can only aggregate into a simple subtotal. So let's move into the module here, and we'll first create a module that we like to use as our line item subset. We'll put in the counting principles here. And as you can see here, we have our line items. And the way to create this into a line item subset is we move into our line item subset tab on the left. We name this click in here and we select our module. And now we can select which line items we would like in our line item subset. In our example, we'll choose three. I went ahead and created our own line item subset for this demo. And at first we have these line items with different accounts of cash, accounts receivable, property, accounts payable, depreciation, expense, and stockholders equity. Each of these line items have different totals for each brand respectively. And using the line item subset process, we'll be able to extract these totals into our new module. So we created the new line item subset that uses all of these line items from this module. And now we'll be able to enter in our line item subset as dimension in our new module. But the values are still not shown here for our different accounting methods. So for the assets, we'll have to enter in our collect function. And now you can see our numbers have been entered in to the line item. The collect function gathers all invoices from various modules. The line items can be used to calculate the receipts and payments. The collect function collects data from the original modules from which a line item subset was chosen. Therefore, we now have our line item subset and we can enter in different line items into our single module here and mix and match with which line items we'd like to include in our line item subset. Overall, Line item subsets can be useful for P&L and accounting situations for aggregating data. When using a line item subset, the line items can only be number formatted, and the only formula possible is sum. Thank you. My name is Sahil Iyer from TechLink International, and thank you for joining us on our TechLink and Plan technical series video on line item subsets.